Hi, Road Trip Adventurers. Welcome to Havasupai Falls. Havasupai Falls is located in the Arizona desert and is at about a 14 mile hike into the campsite and a 14 mile hike out. It is absolutely beautiful and we had such an amazing trip. Uh, I have put this video together to help you guys with planning and uh, give you some tips. So the very first thing that you need to do and um, when you do start planning a trip to have a suit by falls is get permits. Permits are one of the hardest things to do for this trip. It takes a lot of planning and it takes um, some luck as well. So um, the reservation system opens on February 1st at 7 a.m. on Pacific time and when I did this I had read about it, how hard it was to get the um, reservations so I um, had taken the day off of work and I had no expectations I had no um, we we knew what time of year we kind of wanted to go but we knew that um, we'd be open to anything so I think that's a huge suggestion is when you are trying to um, make reservations be open to any time of year like be open to the time that is there that is allowed so um, I had my husband helped me out and we had three um, devices open. We had our laptop, we had our cell phone, and we had a regular computer all open to the same website. And we, were, we got up at 6.50 and we made sure we were refreshing every like minute or two. By the time I went back, there was nothing available besides November 3rd through the 5th. So um, I knew it was gonna be cold, but I took it because I'm like, if anything, and we decide that we don't want it, we know that we can um, sell them to someone else who would also want them. My next advice would be maybe to start um, practicing for the hike itself. Um, so this this part of it is a little bit um, personal. So it is it's it's how fit you are, how much hiking you've done. But I suggest that at least you know that you can do um, two to three miles easy with no problems. Um, we personally decided to do the meals. So um, we rented the horses and they, they took our, our main bags, but we also had our backpack, our regular day packs that had the water and had the food and supplies and stuff. So we still had some weight on our back, but not nearly as much as a, a regular backpack. A ton of people went in with their backpacks and um, a ton of people didn't. So it kind of is up to you how you want to do it. But um, if you are gonna do a regular backpacking, I would train for it and I would get the right equipment for it um, because it is, um, they say it's 10 miles to the campground, but um, we talked to a ton of people down at the actual site and we uh, had a Fitbit on and everything was like over 14 by the time that we actually got to the site itself because you're walking around more than just the hike itself. So, um, kind of be prepared to do 14 miles one day and then the next day you get up and you want to do more and then the next day you have to get up and do another 14 miles out um so just sort of 
and prepare yourself mentally and physically. and you're planning and you are um, getting physically ready for the trip another planning advice that we have is figure out how you're going to get to Havasupai Falls so Havasupai Falls is um, in the middle of Arizona there's not really any major airport close by so you do have to figure out if you're gonna come from Phoenix or if you're gonna come from uh, Las Vegas uh, those are the two easiest ones, but I'm sure there's other places you can go. trip to have a soup by falls we had an amazing time um, yes it took a little bit of planning and a little bit of looking forward into the future and um, some practicing of hiking but it was well worth it we had a great time it's beautiful it's a once in a lifetime experience that we will never forget and um, I think if you have the opportunity to go, please take it and um, go full force with it because it was it was amazing and it was super fun. Um, and if you have any other questions, uh, please uh, comment down at the bottom and let me know and maybe I can try to answer them for you. And if you like our videos, subscribe and click the little bell so that you know when we put up a new one. Alright, thanks guys.